baby what's poppin welcome back to the channel the lighting is a little bit like split in half right now welcome back to my beautiful lighting you know what i'm saying hey, hey shh i'm trying to sleep bro it's nine o'clock in the morning and this buffoon is still sleeping oh like, shh that was hard <laughs> get smacked get smacked i haven't vlogged in a minute and i know that i'm sorry once again i fit the intro in every video it's like i haven't talked to you guys forever thank you for staying <laughs> tuned and i'm sorry but i'm back yeah that's today's intro also but i have a really good reason for taking out the camera today my mom i don't even know how to start the story maybe i should just like wait to tell a story for me to tell my mom you know what i'm saying I, yeah i got english Maybe I should just wait for my mom and she can tell a story for you guys because I don't know the full thing. But pretty much I'm on my way to my mom's house and we're going to be digging up her backyard. And that's about the simplistic intro that I needed right now. Thank you very much. So we're going to my mom's house. We're going to get this day started. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, guys, because every single day I upload bangers for you guys. Every single day. It's, it's every single day, I promise you. So hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and join the Duffies. And it's gonna be a great adventure, am I right? You're not wrong. You're damn right! Ah, damn right. Hola, mamacita! The vlog hasn't seen Hi. you in a fat minute. And you're wearing the OG merch? Okay, okay, she's yeah, ready she to- She got the kicks though. She oh, got she got the kicks? kicks? Oh! That's oh! So because that's how this mama rolls! <laughs> that was so cringe. <laughs> Hey Jay, oh my god, only yeah. the real OG fans remember you. Like I'm talking like first 1,000 subscribers, but know this man, that's it. He's only been in like two videos maybe, when I had like a thousand subs, oh my god, you are an old man now Jay. I actually have someone I want you guys to meet. You yeah, haven't met him ever in my whole entire career of YouTube, but it's my uncle. And it, he's like super cool, so I just want you guys to meet him real quick. This my uncle? Say what up, unk? <laughs> Now my mom is going to get her palms red. No, okay, I'm going to a medium. A medium, whatever. I don't know, same stuff. Where oh. someone tells, and we're going to see if he knows that I'm talking to him right now. Because that's his ashes in that box. So if he says hi back, let, it, let the W's know if he says hi back, alright? Okay. Say what up to uncle. Alright, my mom's going to like kind of tell you what's going on here. But what the hell is that thing, first we of all? We don't know. We don't know. They were growing all over. Dan, Dan shoveled them out. We don't know, but look, if you step on it, like black stuff comes out of it. Like eventually, it won't right away. It's just like a big mushroom or something. And it just keeps growing back. <laughs> yeah. They just, look. Wait, is it Yo, you think it? if I eat it, I'll get five shield or what? No, but right in the middle, you can see it like this. Yeah. yeah it, oh, yeah. Look at all the Jay, watch out. Yeah, Jay's like, no, it's. it's see, it's fruit. coming out. Isn't that gross? Yeah. Pretty much, my mom moved into this house recently. I wouldn't say recently, maybe like a few months ago. And. I don't know. Some weird stuff she's been telling me is happening, and she was telling me, and like so into it and so passionate about it. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I take the camera out and film this stuff? She said she was gonna dig up something in our backyard, and I said, hell no! You need to wait until I can come over because this is definitely getting on video. In case I dig up something like literally wild, but she has like a little bit of a forest type thing back here, and she said she found she found markers and other stuff. I don't know. How about you just tell the story? All right. So I just been a dumbed down version because I know you'll talk for five minutes. I've been trying to get into the energies like energies, a connection with energies. So I've been very spiritual <laughs> and noticing nature and things around me. There goes nature. <laughs> the habitat. Anyway, something led me out here. I don't know what, I was sitting in that chair right there. I think it was a single flower and I thought, of course, that was a sign. So I went over here to look and all of a sudden, I see this hole in the ground and it's like, here's the, here's the board that was- Oh, you dug it up already? Yeah, you know, we dug, the, well, this is what we dug up. There was, all this stuff was inside this. Oh, that's like a box. It's like a wood yes, box. Yes, yes. It's not even like, look guys, so we, it's like actually wood. Like someone put a yeah, wood box in here. it was planted in there. So what happened was, this was all filled. There, I, it just looked like a, you know, I, I just saw a hole. So yeah. I thought it was odd. I pulled this out and I started digging. I saw, I saw a piece of the bottle. And because it was way back there, you know, I dug it. I was afraid to pull it out. I wait for Dan to come home. So he's digging, digging, digging. And we pull the bottle out. It's empty. I don't know what was in it. I don't know what it was for. So he's like, oh, that's it. There's nothing else in here. I'm like, keep digging, keep digging. So we see this shiny tin. What is this? Can I touch it? Yeah. So we pull it out and we it's it's Coca-Cola like lip smackers. I guess it's somebody's maybe time capsule type of thing. I don't know. These were in there. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne was chilling here. I don't know what? what this stuff is. Well, what is this? And this is a The DVD. little gym? This is a DVD from like... 
somebody's first grade from 2007. What? Yo, if that thing works, bro. No, it doesn't work. It you don't think so? Warped. No. Oh, dude, that'd be so sick if that it, DVD, we could see what was know, on this it. this wasn't planted in here. Look, it, there was plastic over this. There was boards on top of it. The weird thing is me and Dan always come out here. We never saw even a hole or anything. anything. An animal probably started digging it up. Something happened. That, I mean, it brought me here. So, of course, that made me think, oh my God, there's something else out here. First of all, I thought there was money in the tin. There'd be no video right now. I'd be- <laughs> We'd be cashing out. We'd be like, yeah, we got yeah. bags, baby. I'm like, I'm, here. I'm telling Dan, stick with your hands, stick with your hands. <laughs> my mom thought she found treasure and she found a chapstick instead. <laughs> yeah, just my luck. <laughs> uh, so I started walking around and feeling around. I was walking around that way because there's some kind of reflector over there. A reflector? Yeah, but I guess it's just a mark of the property. But wait. So then I Wait, what's this hole, huh? I don't know. That was soft, so I started digging that up too. Oh, there was, maybe you got dig deeper. You barely even so went. I, wait, 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 what the heck? There's a wire? Yeah, see? It was like this. Oh, look, look, look. You can get that one too. Oh, yeah, it's this way too. So I, th I don't know. It's a border for something. Yeah, it's the border for your property, probably. No, because that must be the border. Who would put a reflector out there? Do you see it? Where? That oh yeah, yeah, that red re reflector over there. So there's another little marker under it. So that's what I thought. So I just think some. I always think there's always something. So I started walking around and feeling for like this area where I cleared the, the leaves out was real spongy soft. I started kicking the leaves off. I mean, feel it when you step on it. It's spongy than anywhere else. Oh yeah, yeah, like, it's look, soft over here. Yeah, yeah, it's soft for it's sure. Very soft. But then I thought with that, oh, like I'm scared. What if it's maybe somebody's pet? You're gonna you dig up, up a dead pet? Yeah, I'll die. Yeah, that Well, I could tell you this about the bottle. I forgot to tell you. So Dan left all the stuff there. I We threw the bottle in the garbage because it was empty. I put the garbage bag in my trunk to bring it to work to the dumpster. And it's not like I just threw it on top. Like everything was in the garbage bag and I, I tie it. I mean, I ain't tie it so tight. But I make sure it's tied because things will fall out in my trunk. When I got to work and opened the trunk to throw the bag out, what's sitting on the side of the bag? The freaking bottle. So I took it back and I put it back where it belongs. I said, <laughs> oh my God, you never know what that is. <laughs> See, now you guys know where I get it from. I always think there's a spirit or something crazy. It's because my mom is a freaking psychopath. And I'm she, not I, a psychopath. I'm ha I have connections. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I always think there's like a sign or like something weird going on. It's, it's literally just runs in the family. But, Ma, the, the whole thing that I, the reason what got me here and got me interested, first of all, I was like, all right, Ma, you're crazy. Who cares? Someone dug something up in the backyard. There was an old guy that lived here before her that died here, I guess. And what happened with that? He was like a super oh, weirdo. Well, I shouldn't say this because I don't know who knows and don't say where I live, but. Obviously. The other neighbors said that he used to like. Collect mannequins. Collect mannequins. And they were, like, you see this horseshoe? They were all around. Could you imagine seeing, like, driving by Lacey Road and seeing some mannequins? <laughs> Whatever they do. But that's crazy. Yeah, that's like Jeffrey Dahmer stuff. Yeah, that's that's creepy. Hey, um, I'm, I don't know what's up with your family, man. But <laughs> you I, out? Yeah. Alright, uh, deuces, bro. Hit me up. Nice knowing, yeah. nice knowing. <laughs> That's that's exactly what dragged me here when she said that there was a weird guy that used to collect mannequins and dress mannequins up I instantly thought Jeffrey Dahmer instantly thought serial killer instantly thought there's some weird crap going on Instantly thought I need to come dig up this backyard and find some dead bodies or whatever I got to do because the Duffies need to see it and that's why I took today's camera out guys Yeah, I'm actually so pumped to do this. Are you? I, mean, I don't know why I'm so excited Dude, My mom go. talked about it like I'm supposed to be gone, bro. Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right go over there Anyways, I'm so excited and I've been waiting for something like this to happen for a long time. Seb's not here, I swear. <laughs> Seb, you're not, what? see, Seb's nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found, told you guys, Seb left. Anyway, so I think we're gonna start digging over here. Oh no, that's not Seb, that's a mannequin. My mom found a mannequin from like the guy that used to live here, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna start digging probably like over here. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, we're gonna dig, yeah, we're gonna start digging right over there. My mom's gonna get the shovel right now. Oh, look, another mannequin, that's crazy. And not to be like super weird, and it, of course nothing, maybe things don't mean anything, and I just think they do, and they make me happy, so who cares? But anyway, for Dan to dig up like those chapsticks or Coca-Cola, he works for Coca-Cola for 25 that years. Is, yeah, that is it's weird. A little weird. Dude, that's like it's meant to be. What the freaking Well, that's crap. why I was hoping there was money in that damn tin. <laughs> All right, first little digger. Just in case, I know, we gotta be careful because people that live around here, I don't know if we're allowed to do this. 
I'm always breaking the senior citizen rules around here. <laughs> All right, let's go, Muscles McGee. You gotta dig rapid fire right now. We got some time. I don't know if anything's in here. I mean, it looks like it's a lot of... Maybe it's nothing. Like I said, I just... What is this? You found some already? No, nah, no, nah, you're no, good. No, it was like oh, it looked light. like a piece of slate or something. No, well, I was thinking a piece of cloth, and I was like, if it's a piece of cloth, then something's very done to it. Dude, I'm so, like, I'm so excited right now for some reason. Like, I'm getting, like, the chills, and I'm, like, getting so excited. I just feel like we're gonna find something crazy right now. We're hitting something. We're hitting something. Hurry up. Is Hurry it up. freaking gold? I want it to be, like, the Goonies treasure. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I think it's a box. Oh, you're getting on my, my homeless 2.0s. Well, he's There's digging. something. He's hitting yeah, but something. Be careful in case it is a pipe. Yeah, a pipe burst and kills us all. That'd oh, be a good video. That, yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> Call natural gas. I just broke a pipe. I can't get to it. I don't Dude, know. Dude, there's something under there, though. I can Wait, literally should see. we do it with gloves? You have gloves? Go, yeah, of yeah. course I do. Uh, Mom's got all the essentials we need. Look at her running. <laughs> False alarm, everybody. It's just a big ass root. Are you okay, sure? I, yeah. That is a yeah. big root. Oh well, yeah, there's a lot of big trees around here, Jake. Jesus. It really is a root. Aw. So there's a bunch of roots? Yeah. Dude, there's gotta be something. What about the marker over there? Should we dig near the marker? I mean, it doesn't feel soft around there. Why would this feel so soft? First location, uh, we got some stuff. Obviously, you guys saw the Coca-Cola stuff, the weird bottle. We got the DVD player right here. We got some Ozzy Osbourne glasses, but... John Lennon glasses. John yeah. Lennon, whatever the hell he is. Yeah. But. Oh, you're digging over here now too? Uh, I guess Seb's gonna dig one more location. But I feel like even though we didn't hit jackpot, dude, I just, I, I don't know why. I just feel like there's something somewhere. I why would there be a box like that? I do too. And it's not just a box. That is implanted into the ground. Yeah, it's like a box it's that was like properly put in there with plastic over it to keep it conservative. Yeah, look. Like this, this, this was the bottom of it. This, look, there's plastic coming out of the... Maybe we gotta go underneath the box. Yeah, well, how was getting the box out? That's... Maybe we just gotta break through the box underneath. I don't know, there's so much. Imagine. It's so hard, it's like it's like literally digging for treasure. Like, what do we do? There's so many places and options we can go. I just found a tree in the distance when my mom was putting back all the stuff, and it looks super creepy. So I feel like it's video worthy. I need to show you guys. Oh, hello, little girl. What the crap? This is like in, in a backyard, bro. Like, this is some weird stuff. And a guy that used to collect mannequins, mm, I'm not buying it. There's definitely some weird stuff back here. I don't know what that was. But then we got that. Then we got a marker, a random marker of uh, a reflection right there. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, so there's a, so many signs. Like, there's a black butterfly that just flew past my mom. My mom's still digging. She seems to think that there's something underneath the mushroom. I don't know what there is, but a black butterfly flew past her and said, oh look, a black butterfly. She said it's, there's always a black butterfly every time she comes out here. And then she said there was an acorn sitting on her seat. I don't know, just a bunch of weird stuff that she's saying, it, she swears it's signs. Like she's, she's not crazy, I'm telling you. I promise, you're not crazy, listen to me. You think it's that weird serial killer telling you like, trying to hint towards something? Maybe find some no, dead I bodies or what? I have only good spirits, that's why I'm looking for damn money. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about nothing else. I she just wants money. She wants to find a million dollars for some reason. And the thing is, this isn't just like a today's thing. Like my mom, ever since she moved in, she was always telling me like about weird signs that's been going around in her backyard and in her house, stuff like that. Nothing crazy. It's not, I'm not saying like it's haunted or anything. It's just weird like energies like in the universe, weird stuff. And she's been going on about this for months. When she told me about the mannequin thing and then she found a hidden box buried somewhere, that's when I was like, all right, yo, I'm coming over with the camera. Like, it's about to go down. Duffy's need to see. Yeah, so, as a lot of you guys know, my cousin died recently and my mom has a story to tell you because, I don't know, this, I feel like everything kind of connects. Like, everything connects. Like, a little bit of story here and there all, like, comes together and it's just weird. So, a lot of this video is a lot of information, but I want you guys to watch the whole entire thing because I'm telling you everything connects and it's like a crazy ass story. So, my mom's got a story to tell you right now. So, again, I was just starting to try to connect you know because I wanted to get messages and I wanted to connect with positive energies only get rid of all the negative so anyway I you know I've been wanting messages and I haven't gotten any or whatever so I go to let the dog out in the morning there's a white feather on the deck and I say oh my god don't be such a dork like it's really not a message it just doesn't happen that quick like that's not it's just a coincidence that's what I thought so I didn't pick it up I figured I think everything's a sign let me just leave it be see what happens to it so I never picked it up I started reading about a white feather and what it represents and it represents like um your angels protecting you um it says a reminder to keep the faith you're supported and protected by angels can also be a sign 
that your loved ones in heaven are well and have successfully crossed over into the spirit realm. So that's the white feather. So that's what made me think it was Scotty. Yeah, because cause he just he died recently. Yeah. So I never picked that feather up and it was eating me up after I read about the feathers. You felt guilty. Right. So I started meditating and asking for positive energies for more feathers. I want to know, like, now that I know that that was my sign and I didn't pick it up, please send more feathers. I, I need feathers. I wanted him to send a message to his mom because my sister's still distraught and will not let anything but negative. She's just spewing with negative. So um, I've been I've been asking for more feathers. So yesterday was my sister's birthday and I was walking out into my yard, which I do every morning. I look down under that big round beautiful tree that always feels like something to me. There's two feathers, totally different feathers. Not one, but two feathers. And it's literally like maybe a, a foot, a, a foot or two apart. And by two different feathers, she means by like two complete different birds. Yeah, like, like one was Actually, I took a screenshot, but I did give the, the feather to Aunt Stacy last night. I don't know if you could get this screenshot on your... As you can tell, they're one's a black with blue feather, which is also beautiful. And then another feather like that. Two completely different birds. What are the odds that you ask for another sign and there's two of them? Not one, but two. Because I think one was meant for me to give to Aunt Stacy to give her some positive energy from him because I read what it meant. Again, the blue and the white, they they all mean different things. So I know it's like for calmness and for peace and to find from within that, you know, you do have the power to yeah. do whatever you want to be positive about even a negative situation. Mm -hmm. It's how you react to things, which is really all it is is a mindset. But anyway, so, and then that brown feather, meaning um, like home, respect, prosperity. I believe that that's mine because this is my home. I love it. And that is my sanctuary outside. Where everything's happening. Yeah. Well, I it's just where I feel all the energy and that's where I get all the energy from. That's My mom is saying that like it's all positive energy back there and like you know everything's happening. It's really just like a serial killer that used to live here. <laughs> I'm just joking. Alright so Ma, how many likes for the Duffies right now for us to come back and dig up your entire backyard with an excavator? Did I say that right? Excavator? How many likes, how many likes right now? How many should it be around? I don't know. Exactly. So drop a like on the video. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Drop a like. Let us know in the comments if you guys want to see us come back. No matter what, I definitely want to come back and at least go underneath the box. I feel like there's some, if we go deeper, like the box is just like the top layer, I feel like. If we go underneath the box, I feel like we're going to find other stuff. So I definitely want to do that 100%. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, just drop likes, leave in the comments, do whatever you got to do. Definitely stay tuned. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. And cop the merch. She's wearing it right now. So you know it's fresh as hair. All right, deuces.